Welcome to the TBC 4.00 new feature video documenting the new point cloud export options included in TBC 4.00, including a new file format, the LAZ file format, some new unit options with the LAS file format, and then some grid ground scaling options upon export. Let's begin. So here we are in TBC 4.00 with an SX10 data set completed with resected station setups off of VRS RTK control points. Let's kind of rotate here for a little bit better look. There's a power line data set in northern Colorado in the United States. And I want to show you here real quick that the coordinate system has been set with a known projection. We're using a worldwide UTM system with a transverse Mercator projection and known scale factor. The coordinates are set to use US survey foot units. Those can easily be changed to meters and if I hit OK, the project automatically converts whatever I had before into meters. Change those back to US survey feet. All right, so I want to go ahead and select all to export this point cloud out of TBC for use in a third-party software or an additional TBC project. So Control A will select all, and I'm going to launch the export command. And here I've got a couple of different options in the tabs. I'm of course, going to select point cloud, and by clicking point cloud you can see all the formats. You see there now LAZ is supported in TBC 400. I'm going to use the LAS file format exporter. As an option in the LAS exporter you can sample points. I'll say 5 million out of this whole set. And an option to select the export unit I pick in US survey foot. If my export unit does not match my project units TBC will do the conversion automatically. I've selected ground scaling so that means scale factor will be equal to one real world units getting the LAS file format out save to your project folder and import into a third party software such as Autodesk Recap so the import in Recap is just a drag and drop and there I have my project in Recap I'm going to set the units to match to, to foot and then set the type of foot to US survey foot. I'm going to navigate to a specific area in this data set where the utility line crosses over the road for a coordinate to show consistency and same level of magnitude showing that they're matching throughout the course of these exports and the demo. There's the coordinate. Then jumping back over to TBC, that same area, the coordinates will match. And you can pause the video and check me on this. So I've successfully taken my, my point cloud from TBC into Recap. Now back into the point cloud exporter, I want to try the grid scaling method. And to pick the grid scale in the scaling option, switch that from ground to grid. And what is going to happen when I export to grid is I'm going to get a TXT file with the point cloud LAS that shows the coordinate system and known scale factors off of that known projection. This grid scale is also the option to use if you'd want to export a point cloud in local site setting. So then upon importing this into another software or TBC, it's important to match the coordinate system settings. It can be assumed that point clouds are in ground coordinates, scale factor 1. With this additional flexibility in export, it's critical to know that, those parameters, those coordinate systems. So that's why we've exported out a TXT file with that information. If I didn't know it, obviously I just created this file and I'm importing it back into demo, uh, the functionality. So I know this is in UTM 13 North. I'm going to go ahead in TBC and set that. If I didn't know that, I could come into the text file and see, oh, yep, there it is, UTM 13 North, and I want to match that coordinate system in my software package. 
So I'll go down and find UTM-13 North. Set a geoid here real quick. And say OK. Focus on the area where the utility line crosses the road. Zoom in on the coordinates. And they are what I expected.